Guten Morgen, mine children. It's another oppressively hot day in my lovely little hometown here. And, uh, uh, there will be no fair today. I wasn't even sure I was going to vlog today. I decided to go ahead and do it, but no fair. No fair. No fair, no fair, no fair. Uh, it's just, oh my lord. <laughs> the blast of heat that just came out of the devil's butt crack here. <sighs> I'm sure you understand. I'm sure somebody out there suffers the same fate I do with these odd god awful hot black vehicles <sighs> I'm on my way to my least favorite place in the world the place where the devil's butt crack should have probably originated hell mart <sighs> need to pick up some crack for dinner tonight oh and some food for the animals too they kind of enjoy it when they get fed Go figure. Silly animals. Okay, talk to you in a minute. Bye bye. Okay, housework's done. Well, as much as I plan on doing it for now. Pokemon caught. Don't tell anybody I was playing again. Getting ready to start working on making dinner. It's obviously going to be a very tediously boring blog. Vlog. Um, <laughs> this might be a good time to throw in some of that B-roll I've been shooting. Every once in a while I shoot stuff that I don't you know, Just for the heck of it little entertaining snippets or even some boring snippets just to kind of have in case I decide I need it or want to extend the blog a little longer than three minutes um, so you may be getting some of that today mm -hmm. that being said <sighs> That being said, my brain went blank. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, let's do some real talk. Um, the day started off really good. I mean, I, I felt good this morning and I thought, you know what? I'll go ahead and do a vlog. And, um, um, I got my intro out and I got my second shot and somewhere not long after that second shot um, I hit the proverbial wall uh, um, I mean my depression just kind of crushed me I mean it, it was really bad it's not as bad now obviously I'm doing this um, I held dinner just about didn't get made I just I didn't even want to do it but I did because they're relying on me for food. So, there you go. This, you know, despite how I feel. That's a subject for another day. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, normally, normally they... 
they they kind of come over me slowly and over the period of a day or so I start to notice that I'm a little less this and I just I start getting depressed this was just like I mean it was literally just like boom you know I couldn't I couldn't I didn't I was trying to figure out why why what what triggered such a, a an, an episode like that so just like from night to day type of thing you know it was unusual the only thing I can figure is it had to do with the sorry I was eating a Danish uh, a rather massive uh, panic attack I had yesterday um, hadn't had one quite that strong in a while and nor had I really uh, had the emotional tie in with it uh, being it was somebody that I knew and had, and like who triggered the panic attack um, there was a level of guilt that that came along with that afterwards after I had calmed down there was the guilt feeling that you know it's like you know, even though I didn't say anything to him or punch him like I thoroughly wanted to do the guilt was still there that I, I, I had even thought of or considered that you know um, And now I mean, I'm 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 dealing with the um, I don't know. Biblically, you're supposed to tell somebody when when something like you know, when you, you're angry with them, even you should tell them, you should confess that you had those feelings about them, and and. and I'm I'm torn because he also does not know about my condition, which is why I'm trying to cut him some slack. He has no idea about my anxiety issues or any of it other than the Crohn's. Um, so I, I am trying really really hard to. And I, I just I don't know. I don't know. If, if I go to him and tell him, I'm going to pause for a moment. Okay, sorry. A little interruption there. Um, you know, it, it, like I said, he doesn't know about the conditions. And it, so, in order to confess to him how I felt, I would also have to explain why. And I... While I'm sitting here talking to eight people, or potentially hundreds or thousands that may stumble across it but not subscribe, it's a little different telling somebody that you, that you know about this because some people perceive it as a weakness instead of a, a disease. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't it's just that I've never you know very few people in my church know about it you know, I've told the pastor obviously you know um, a few of the other people who have similar issues I've talked to about it you know. but for the most part it's just you know on a need to know basis and Um, I don't know, I'm just, I'm feeling <laughs> really guilty, I'm feeling, I feel the, the guilt feeling still there, and I, and I just, I want to, I don't know what to do. Plain and simple, don't know what to do. Ah. <sighs> 
and that's where I'm at right now. So as not to end my vlog on such a heavy note on the Pokemon Go front. Pokemon Go. <laughs> yes, I'm still playing. Yes, I'm kind of addicted. I got a Jigglypuff today. Whoop, whoop. And I also got my first uh, creature with a CP over 1,000. So, you know, the good with the bad. I was depressed most of the day and wanted to die or curl up into a ball and cry. But I got some cool stuff as well, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is why I'm um, <laughs> back to heavy. This is why I was originally uh, diagnosed as manic depressive. Um, and for the longest time they had me on drugs for manic depression, but... And another person just, um, another psychiatrist evaluated me and he and a few of his colleagues agreed that I was not manic depressive, that w what I do is um, even during episodes of depression, I can kind of I bring out a fake happy, um, similar to what we do when we want to get out of the hospital. We fake it. Uh, although I mean, I'm I'm really good at it. Um, uh, I I can I can walk into a room full of people that I know and they won't realize that there's a thing wrong but on the inside I'm dying and I want to die you know it's, it's weird it's a very weird feeling it's very and it's very hard to explain to people you know and you always you always hear people saying well you know you you have to choose to be happy really all this time I've been suffering with this and all I had to do is choose to be happy? Huh. So you chose to be an idiot? Uh, you know, it, it's... <laughs> it's not that easy, people. If you don't suffer from depression or anxiety or any of these things, don't look down on the people who have it and don't treat them like it is a weakness. It is a medical condition, a real honest-to-goodness medical condition that needs treatment, therapy, help, um, anything from just therapy to, like I said, medicines to treat it. I mean, it could be some deep-seated memory that's screwing with them all the way up to a chemical imbalance in their brain. Don't treat them like crap. Please, you know, act like human beings. Yeah. <laughs> I should probably end this little train wreck because I see I went from what would have been about a three minute vlog to over ten minutes. So I'm going to say peace. Rock on. Possibly see you tomorrow. <laughs>